Some people think I'm crazy. I mean, I could have probably retired and, and lived a pretty simple, easy life, but you know, I wanted my kids to see me work. And I wanted my kids to grow up in this environment and learn how to, to go out every day and deal with adversity and success and all that stuff. And I wanted to see it firsthand. So it's been uh, fun and I really enjoy it. A lot of people do things for certain reasons, and mine was I played football to buy a ranch. And uh, I have no background in ranching. My dad was in the egg business and John Deere. And so I dove into this um, with really no knowledge or experience. I was raised by two working parents, um, but yet I had a great family life. You know, my mom and dad made time to uh, spend with us. Um, I spent a lot of time with my dad at work. My dad was a workaholic. The thing that came natural was just to get up and go in the morning. And every day, all day, 12 months out of the year, it's been probably the most natural thing. And my mom's still working and she's, you know, in her mid-60s. So, you know, I didn't have to go far to learn how to, to be a hard worker. I just had to get out into the house and watch my dad and watch my mom. And uh, so I was blessed in that manner and, and appreciative for what they did. Everything with me is competitive. My shoulders are shot, my elbow's bad, and I'll still try to out throw some, a rock on somebody, you know? So it's one of those things that um, is, I don't know if I'll ever lose it. It's also a downfall too, you know, and, and where you, you try to do everything perfect. When I lose something, I take it hard and um, it keeps me up at night. Now I've learned to kind of let, you know, mother nature take her, take her course. But at the same time, I try to, to do um, whatever I can to keep a calf or a cow alive. Everybody sacrifices for their job. If you want to be good at what you do, and I'm not trying to say that the rancher is the hardest working guy or anything, but you know, there was a week there where we were having anywhere from 15 to 20 calves a day. I mean, that was a 15 hours sleep for, for a week. But that's what we signed up to do, and I knew that going into it. But I'm a firm believer that if you enjoy what you do, it doesn't matter how much time you put in. And um, that's kind of where I'm at, and I love it. And my kids get to go out and do it with me. My wife does too. And so it's, it's a fun thing. Hey, come here. Come here. Let's get a picture together. My kids are great. You know, the, the younger ones, they really don't know kind of what's going on. My daughter has really gotten into the horse thing and I'm not a big horse person but I get on a horse with her and, and ride and, and she enjoys it. Yesterday my little three-year-old and I, Cooper, were out picking up sticks out of a hay field and, and the conversations we have are the ones that I'll remember for the rest of my life. He won't remember it but for me it, it's the stuff he makes up and then and going and shooting some gophers and, and just the fun we have and, and, and uh, the memories. can recall all of my childhood memories that, uh, that I absolutely love and you know a lot of my football stuff is just kind of one of those things where I you know someone says something and I'm like ah, I don't you know I don't can't recall a lot of it because it was the job and I guess it's not as important to me at that level as it is raising my children. Hibbert rolls right, looking for Zach Thomas. He fires to Fitzsimmons. It is a Got touchdown. It. I was never given anything. Like when I say not given anything, I was given an opportunity to do what God gave me talent-wise. Every opportunity that I got, I tried to make it successful. Yeah, there's some failures. There's some ups and downs. I mean, there's been some... This hasn't been easy, getting to this point or getting to that point, or even getting to college for that matter. Um, you know, I was a basketball player first and then um, played one year of high school football and then I ended up signing with Carol and my mom thought I was crazy. And at some point I kind of thought I was crazy that first, first year getting there and I'm like, man, what am I doing? You know, the good Lord has a way of making things work out the way they're supposed to but it's it, it, it's been fun and, and i've grown so much from from those experiences that i wouldn't trade this for anything and even if it hadn't worked out i still would have traded it you know so when i look back on it it's been pretty remarkable and i'm definitely thankful for for what i had the opportunity to do you know, it's kind of funny, Detroit and Michigan in general is a lot like Montana. There's a lot of blue-collared people, the auto industry. 
Um, yeah, there's some changes as far as, you know, you got a higher crime rate. Um, you've got a lot of bigger poverty levels. Um, but it woke me up and, and actually helped me appreciate what I have back home. And so I really, it, it, was, it was cool and I love Michigan. Michigan is, is, is a really beautiful state. It's, there's a lot to offer, lots of hunting, fishing, outdoor stuff. It's, uh, you know, I always refer to it as a poor man, Montana. You know, their hills are smaller and their, their rivers are smaller, but uh, it's, and their deer maybe a little bit smaller, so. But it's fun, and uh, I had a great time. Probably my rookie year, the first game, kickoff, and, I, and, and how I, re, I re, we were playing the Arizona Cardinals. And I'm looking around, you know, and hell, preseason game, we're in front of, you know, it's not sold out. There's 40-some thousand people there, but we're in a sold-out Ford Field. And I'm looking around like, man, this is crazy. You know, and I'm on kickoff. Then I go out and I start, you know, 12 games my rookie year. The whole level of talent at that I mean everybody's good you know and so it, you know that was probably my welcome to the NFL and then obviously the first couple big hits I can't recall but I've had some a few of them I tried to be the hammer not the nail and so um, but I you know everybody no matter how good you are you're gonna get licked one guy Brett Favre just the way he was you know and the way he presented the game and I think it's for me now watching it, I don't watch a lot of uh, NFL football, is the way that uh, he played the game. I mean, it's just, I mean, if anybody wants to know how to play the game of football, watch Brett Favre. I mean, he loved it, he enjoyed it, he played it like a kid, and he is so passionate about it. And um, watch, he's probably the only guy that where I was really like, wow. Just the way he played the game and the way he went about his business was, was in itself um, impressive. And he, yeah, I mean, he was one of those guys that would go downtown and drink beer with the locals and uh, hang out. Life is full of opportunities, and it's and going back to this is it's what you take it from those opportunities and and it's not how you handle the success it's how you handle failure because everybody's going to fail and there's going to be ups and downs you either fold shop or you dig in and you fight and my philosophy was fighting i wanted to make sure to prove people wrong i never doubt anybody because i've lived it i've seen it seen what opportunities i had and never give up i mean you never know what's around the corner and that's my thing was, is I was always fighting to see what was around the corner and uh, see what was gonna be presented to me next. And then, you know, at the end of the day too, it takes talent and it takes time to, to hone that talent. I mean, there's lots of guys that played in, in the NFL that were way more talented than me. But at the end of the day, I was reliable. I mean, don't get me wrong, I was talented, but they were a, a supreme athlete compared to me. But I knew when to, how to study film and how to prepare for games and to be a professional. And so just because someone's better than you in front of you, I wouldn't give up. I mean, there's, there's so much that you can do and it's all in your own control. I mean, how can, you can't ask for anything better. When you can control your own destiny, there ain't nothing better than that.